Hello, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes from that seething mass of nightmares known as Twitter, where Kevin uh, wants to know my thoughts on a newly discovered species that has been named after one of my monsters. Uh, it's been named particularly after this fellow here, which, uh, for legal reasons, I'm not permitted to say the name aloud, so long-time viewers know I refer to him to avoid any kind of controversy as Donald. So this, this new creature is the Solacina Donald, an echinoderm, a, a sort of sea cucumber that existed millions of years ago when its fossils have been analyzed, and now we have this uh, delightful tentacular creature which we can enjoy in all of its rugose splendor. But what I find fascinating is that this is not the first species to be named after, well, Donald. Uh, it seems that for whatever reason, biologists are somewhat enamored of my creatures and bring them into the naming process when it suits them. Uh, there's, of course, the uh, Donald Pomoa, which is a species of, of spider, and then there's the uh, Nano Donald Lovecrafty, they managed to get my name in there, which is a, a kind of wasp, and then my personal favorite, the Donald Macrofasca Calumque, a very small little creature which exists in the hind gut of termites, helping them digest wood. Now, while this is all very flattering, what I find most fascinating about this entire thing is that well, these names, while they may have been chosen on a whim or as a joke, are, are the official names and will be around for quite some time. Indeed, they may well last beyond my own stories, because while literary fame is fleeting, zoological taxonomy is eternal. But I have to say, if I do have to have some sort of immortality, I could do worse than sea cucumbers. As always. I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.